Welcome back everybody, I'm Miss Biz and this is episode 100. Oh yeah, we are on episode 100 of Let's Play Skyrim. Uh, it's pretty crazy and I still have to put this darn ring back. So where is my lock picking necklace? We're gonna put that on, we're gonna sneak. Serana, be on the lookout. We gotta put a ring back in our house. So, today I think we'll just do this, ooh, which is something I don't do very often, and we'll also, what? We are also going to check out that staff, I promise, and let's see, what? Man, a master lock is going to use all my things, and I'm going to see if I can shoot some hawks. Yeah, we're going to be like the episode where Biz does everything, finally. All right, so where do I need to put her ring back? Uh, let's see where I don't even know what it is. I bet you it's a miscellaneous quest. It should be. Let's see. Put the ring back. Put the ring back. Plant it back. Okay, so let's get rid of all of these. Uh, why do I have so many? I don't want all these. Okay, we gotta put it back here. Is there anybody out here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, her bedroom would be upstairs probably, right? I'm really hoping nobody's home. It's really what I'm banking on here. Uh, where would you put a ring? On a nightstand? Steal from... Where do I put the ring back? Oh my goodness. Plant it in her house. I'm assuming I actually have to interact with something. I can't just leave it laying on the ground. You need to leave. Damn it! Okay, okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Can't a woman get a moment to herself? Leave me! I am! I'm not going to warn you again. Get out, or I'll call the guards. You guards, help! Ah, damn it! Okay. We're gonna try again. Can't a woman get ah, a to no, herself? I need to go outside. Please. Can I? Can I put this in here? I'm gonna put it in here. Uh, so I got back in the house. I put it back. And now I'm just gonna put the ring in this random dresser that's right inside the door and I'm gonna get out. Be on the lookout. <gasps> the butcher could be around any corner. Yes! Oh my goodness. And we got in and got out because I knew she was gonna come home because I reloaded my save. And we got in and we got out before she could catch us, which was the goal of this. If it's bed or board you're after, so now I actually did my first thiefy kind of thing, which is pretty cool. And we're going to have to go visit that guy and sell him all of our stuff. So it appears even though it's one in the morning, I'm allowed to go in here. Are you awake, sir? You are awake. What are you doing up so late? Have you taken care of that little problem? I placed her ring in her house. Thank you. Thank you. Azura's prophecy <laughs> always guides you to fortune. Speaking of fortune, here. Ooh. Everything I earned from my last shipment, it's yours. Oh, <gasps> how much? Nice, a thousand gold. The weather is terrible. It can't be helped. That's all I can tell you is the weather is terrible? Very well. Oh, because you won't let me sell you stuff unless it's eight in the morning. I get it. So we're going to wait. So here I am at the docks. And I'm looking at the sky, and I don't see any hawks. No hawk feathers for me, I guess. So, let's uh, head back over to land, see where we're gonna go, and maybe try out that staff. Nice, damn it. All right, so, oh, I should probably be what away from it? people if I'm gonna try out that staff. Uh, no hawks. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. 
Uh, what? Yeah, got this note. From who? Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. Uh. Alright, Mr. Courier, what's up? Mm, mysterious note. Oh! <gasps> Yes! Okay, I was kind of confused, because when I did that last quest, I knew that this is what it was going to lead to, but I was like, I don't know if I broke it or what, because nothing happened. That's super cool. I'm super excited about that now. Oh, shiznat. Okay, well, you know what? We're fighting a dragon. Might as well try that staff out. Let's see. Uh, get her ready. Oh. Oh no! Wrong one! Wrong one! Here we go! What?! Oh my goodness! That is so cool! That is awesome! Show yourself. There you are. Oh my goodness. There's the dragon. There's the dragon. Come on, dragon. Come back here. Come back here, dragon. So I can kill you. Why isn't it working? Oh, snap. We're going to get our bow out. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Frost dragon! Oh, man, that's a very spiky-backed frost dragon. I don't remember them having that big of spikes before. Oh, that didn't make it. I got to wait until it's all the way back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're going to totally kill him. That guy is awesome! <gasps> yes! Dead! Dead Frost Dragon. Because I got an awesome new follower dude from the staff. Is he already gone? Man, I kind of want the dual cast perk. Uh, I think Conjuration has one so that I can... They last longer? I don't know if that counts towards staffs, though. But that is awesome, and I'm super sad I didn't do it earlier. <laughs> Uh, ooh, looks like we got some normal stuff that you would normally get. Alright, so the whole point of us coming here was for a Dawn Guard quest. Uh, I don't even remember what it is anymore. But we were supposed to tell them... Where is it? Oh, there we go. Warn somebody about the vampire threat. Where's the crazy chick? Isn't this the place with the crazy I chick? Don't what care happened? How many colleges they build, or how much the sea swallows up, I'll outlast them all. What's your business here in Winterhold? Um, does it matter? It does. The college has caused enough problems. Don't need you or anyone else adding to them. If you're not here for the college, then you've little other reason to be in Winterhold at all. Uh, oh, maybe I didn't meet him yet? Okay, sorry. I was thinking of the crazy chick, but that's from, like, Morthal. All right. Um, you are in danger. A vampire has infiltrated your court. That's quite a bold claim. I'd need proof before I could possibly accept it. Of course you do. Find evidence. Well, hmm. All right. I like him. The crazy chick would have just believed be me. So where do I need to go to find evidence? Not very Thanks far, apparently. Me. Yeah? Corman yes? will be the first to tell you that if it weren't for that college, we'd all be better off. I agree with him. How does he not do realize this dude's a vampire? His eyes are all red. 
Man, I need to find proof, but I have no idea how. Um, how the heck am I gonna find proof? And why am I allowed to take all the gold out of here? <gasps> it wasn't stealing. It didn't, it, it said take, it didn't say steal. So I took it. Just like I'm taking all this stuff. Where's that? Oh, I need to find something. Okay, so I googled what I have to do and I have to pickpocket him. But I noticed this when I was in the Jarl's place. And I think he's bugged. He won't sit down. He keeps sitting down, getting up, sitting down, getting up. <laughs> and it's awesome. But I need to, like, find him sleeping or something. They'll let you get away with the Okay. Oh, oh, there he is. Can you please go into a room away from people so I can pickpocket you? Because I suck at pickpocketing. Drunken brawls. Been too long since we had a good bandit raid. Watch the magic. I love it when dinner was found by our. A woman approaches with a there weapon. was a gargoyle! And now the gargoyle's gone! I don't know what happened. Alright, so sure I already came here, and I was supposed to ask where that other Elder Scroll was, and I thought I was asking him that, but then that dragon came in, and we had to fight the dragon, I never heard what he said. I'm guessing he told me to come talk to this guy, because I still Art haven't learned where, what, where it is. All this knowledge might have been lost were it not for you. Oh, have you made any progress translating Shalador's work? We were able to figure out the last text you brought in. I thought the least I could do is pass the knowledge along. Ooh. Ooh, nice. I have something new. All right. I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what you're asking about? Of course I do. Do you have one here? You think that even if I did have one here, I would let you see it? It would be oh, kept under on. the highest security. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Uh, I need to find one and I was told you could have I don't know who told you that, but I'll do what I can. What we do have are plenty of books. I'll bring oh, everything on. we have on them, but it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Come on. All right. Until next time. I don't care if you wrote it yourself. If you want a book from here, you go through me. Okay, I'm looking for an Elder Scroll. And what do you plan to do with it? Do you even know what Did you're Did I pick the about? wrong words? Tell me more about it. I knew it. Everyone comes in here expecting my help. But they don't even have the proper questions. An Elder Scroll is an instrument of immense knowledge and power. Yeah. To read an Elder Scroll, a person must have the most rigorously trained mind, or else risk madness. Even and go so, blind. The divines usually take the reader's sight as a price. Ah. Uh, who wrote the Elder Scrolls? It would take a month to explain to you how that very question doesn't even make sense. Okay. The scrolls exist here, with us, but also beyond and beneath, before and after. They are bits of divine made substance, so we could know them. What? Sorry. Talking about the scrolls, you usually end up in irritating and vague metaphors like that. Some people who study them devoutly go mad. 
Alright, so do you have one that I could use? No, he won't. A price for the what? The simplest way to put it is knowledge, but there's nothing simple about an Elder Scroll. No doubt. It's a reflection of all possible futures and all possible pasts. Possible? Each reader sees different reflections through different lenses and may come away with a different reading. But at the same what? time, all of it is true. Even the falsehoods, especially the falsehoods. How are the falsehoods true? So, do you have one that I could use? Ah, you think that even if I did have one here, I would oh, let you see on. it? come on. It would be kept under the highest security. I know. The greatest thief in the world wouldn't be able to lay a finger on it. Mm, do you at least have any information of on them? Of course. I'll bring everything we have on them. But it's not much. So don't get your hopes up. It's mostly lies, leavened with rumor and conjecture. Fight well. Maybe I just need to follow him. Oh, he is grabbing books for me. Go grab my books so there I can go. learn. Try not to spill anything on them. Oh. All right, so those books Our, are pretty crazy. Uh, I'll put the names of them in the description you. if you want to check them out. But uh, this Ruminations book is incomprehensible. Aye, uh, that's the work of Septimus Cygnus. He's the world's master of the nature of Elder Scrolls. But, well, he's been gone for a long while. Too long. Mm. He's dead? Oh no, I hope not. But even I haven't oh. seen him in years. And we were close. They came obsessed with the Dwemer. Took off north saying he had found some old artifact. Haven't seen him since. Huh. Somewhere in the ice fields, if you want to try to find him. All right, looks like I finished that quest and I'm gonna have to find that dude. I'm guessing that's where the Elder Scroll is. Or I have to go find him and then he'll tell me where the Elder Scroll is. So that looks like that's probably, possibly the giant dungeon you guys warned me about. So I need to make sure that I'm stocked up on potions and that my bags are very light so that uh, I don't have to run in and out of there constantly if it's a huge place. And uh, make sure Serana's good. Maybe see if I can put any new enchantments on my stuff before we prepare for that dungeon. So thanks for tuning in to episode 100 of Let's Play Skyrim Blind. And I'm Miss Fizz. Hope to see you next time.